I'm trying not to get emotional here, but um, my father passed away, and the last thing that he was doing was watching him shoot basketball. And this is when he was five years old, and now it's you know four years later, and he's made it all the way here. And uh, you know we just know that my dad is looking down, and he's he's proud of this, and you know you, you can't really get any better than that. I mean, this is a heck of a program. I mean, it's been an amazing program for a long time. I first uh, shot when I was nine years old in 1982, and I was lucky enough to go all the way to the regionals my first time, and uh, I lost out there. I remember he shot granny style. That's the one thing that sticks out, and I also remember he never missed. He didn't miss the whole time in practice. He didn't miss the competition. He made all, and it kind of opened my eyes to, you know, you're good, but there's somebody out there that's worked harder and that is better. Now I have a son that has got me to nationals. Me and my dad usually do a competition. He usually wins. You guys provided a great vehicle for these kids to participate in something. Teach them a work ethic, a drive, success, failure, how to cope with both. If you miss a shot, don't react to it because that is yeah, a problem if, with the next shot. If you react, it's bad. And, but you got to stay calm because the miss is behind you and the next shot is in front. How you react to failure and success you know, it's very important in all things, and it really teaches that. It's just something that I think all kids should be involved in. If you want to put me in the competition, I want to be in this position. You know, it teaches them how to deal with success and failure, and, and that's just so important in life in general. So I would encourage everybody, you know, it's a free thing. I mean, you don't have to incur any, any cost, and it's just a, a, something that, you know, all kids should be involved in, in my opinion.